Good morning, Beth. This is uh, Mr. Marston, and I'm going to go over really quickly what you're getting in your little art package here. You're going to have a uh, bunch of paper here cut up for you guys to do your different art projects as we go forward. Now, I shouldn't have to give send you guys too much more paper, so please use it sparingly. Feel free to use our supplies, however, on other stuff. I will be sending uh, some more coloring and painting supplies as we make them available and I will um, I'll get those to you however I can. So in your package you're gonna find three or so sheets of watercolor paper, two pieces of black paper, and a stack of drawing paper. Um, you wanna kinda use it sparingly. Feel free to practice on whatever you can and make whatever art you have available to you. But you're gonna wanna keep all of this stuff nicely packed up, keep it in your folder, and then as we go through different projects, uh, we will use up these supplies and uh, have some nice finished artwork on some quality materials. So for our first assignment here, what we're going to do is we're going to make an inverted drawing. Now an inverted drawing is a drawing that you use a white pencil on black paper to build up the highlights or the white spaces instead of using a dark pencil on lighter paper to build up the shadows and the, the darker shapes in your drawing. So um, as far as the challenge goes for this, you're going to need to work towards practicing on one side of the paper, uh, making a bunch of shapes and three-dimensional things, whatever you can draw really, and try and practice uh, shading them in with uh, the white pencil. And then after you've got a couple of them all set that you feel good about, then you can flip your paper over and try and make a really serious drawing. Spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes really focusing on trying to make something really nice out of it and do your best. But at the same time, know that uh, my expectations for you uh, widely vary based on, you know, your age and ability levels. So if you're one of my older students and you think you can really take some time and make something that looks, uh, you know, representational and realistic, then please go ahead and do that. Alternatively, if you feel like you uh, would much rather spend your time developing some creative characters that have a lot of personality and some interesting characteristics to them, then go ahead and do some of that instead. Um, we'll be working more directed as we get on in the process and I get you guys some different supplies and we'll do several different uh, types of projects. But for right now, we're gonna keep it pretty, pretty basic. And that doesn't mean that you can't really try and push yourselves, but you know, don't stress out over whether or not you're doing it right. Just do your best at it, try hard, and remember that you're drawing the highlights and not the dark spaces. So you need to kind of shade things in reverse or color things in that are white and you're gonna have white um, for the main texture and then just different little gray shadows. Um, you're gonna wanna practice your different values as you're doing part of this first set of drawings and uh, you know practice making a really bright white that trails off into a dark and then you can practice it with some mark making techniques as opposed to just kind of shading and coloring that way. So you can leave some spaces if you need to. Then you're gonna to wanna to try and make one of these more formal drawings where you have all your details and really build up some, some mass for your drawings. Okay, good luck. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you again soon.